I ask for the truth on behalf of Ashley Butler concerning relationship issues, marital issues. Um, when will her husband come home? Will he come home soon? I ask this in the name of truth, right conduct, peace, love and non-violence. Blessed be to the truth. Always. And we just cut the duck there uh, for you there, Ashley, and just, uh, just pop it, uh, just pop it here. And then we'll uh, deal out three cards for you, uh, just to see what's uh, going on. Uh, the first card that we place, uh, just, just pop it there, uh, that's in the possession of the recent past. We call it the recent past influence. Then the next card we deal is in the possession of the present. That's the present influence, isn't it? And, that, and then, of course, uh, finally, the the future, the immediate future influence in this case, is just placed just placed there. So uh, that's uh, that 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 me uh, uh, that, 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 that are your cards. Um. The recent past, as you, you, you probably well know by now, is a period of time, about a moon phase behind, about a period of time between between now and this time last month. Uh, and in the same way, the immediate future is between now and this time next month. So just so uh, just so you know what what see what what see what's going on there. Let's flip the first card and let's just see what um, is to be revealed here. Of course, the question um, is, uh, when one more miles been come home? Uh, what's what's caused him in, in a sense to go away? Uh, in the first place, or or what was going on between now and and this time last month, I got a funny feeling as though this is a recent thing. Is it something that'll all blow over, or or or, or, or what? Um, it's understandable. You've got the energy of water, the element of water. I don't know if you can just see that there. And the zodiac signs, notice you've got the zodiac signs of uh, Scorpio, Pisces, and, uh, and Cancer uh, there. Um, cancer, the Crab, and, and, and what have you. Uh, the element of water, of, of course, has to, do with, uh, is, is to do with emotions and feelings, isn't it? And, and this tends to... Uh, focus really on on the fact that your emotions in some way have been have been just recently have been in, at, at a peak in in some way maybe uh, a lot, lot of tears a lot of crying or whatever has been taking place um maybe we've been coming to some um some pragmatic agreement that this marriage is, uh, hasn't been working uh, and, and, and and although we don't want to, to 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 separate, we've got to do, or maybe it's it's been a, a, some sort of arguments. Um, I'm sick of you accusing me of, uh, of 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 being with somebody else when I'm not, or or, or I'm I'm just sick of you using me like a doormat, and or or something I don't know. Or I got a funny feeling because he's done the runner, as he found somebody. I got a funny feeling as though I shouldn't say this, but I got a feeling as though he may have found somebody, um, somebody else, um, uh, to, uh, that's uh, that's that's led him astray. I, I just I just sort of feel that. I suppose that could be a logical explanation, but at this point, of course, all we know is that feelings were at high. And of course, well, um, do you love her or, or, or what? What is this? And uh, I got a funny feeling. Actually, I got a funny feeling. For as much as you, you've done a lot of crying over it, nevertheless, emotions being at a peak, I got a funny feeling as though he has as well. Um, 
his feelings have been at a peak. Should you feel sorry though for cheaters in any way, shape or form? I don't know. Um, this is... Uh, um, it, it, it's one thing to understand why people do what they do, but you don't have to actually approve of it, do you? Uh, let's just see, though, what uh, is going on now, and that's the main, the main thing, isn't it? Uh, let's just see uh, what you've got there, and that's your, your next energy, your next card. And that's for now, the, the present. And you've got the unicorn, and the unicorn usually represents creativity and things like that. But in this case, um, um, it represents uh, good fortune and friendship, indicating really um, <laughs> sort of turn around there. Although feelings have been at a peak, and, and although there's been a lot of tears, nevertheless, um, you are fortunate right now in, in some regard. Yeah, I suppose not so much good fortune, but fortunate. You, you are, you are fortunate right now um, to have friends who understand. Uh, maybe who can counsel you, or, or who can be a listening ear. And and that's really a, that's a nice thing, isn't it? Really, in that in that uh, regard, that you, that you that you can that you can say that about uh, about uh, about people, isn't it? The fact that you've got these friends that you can. You can rely on and maybe that's the good fortune that you've got is the person that uh, he has found is she faithful that's uh, that's one thing it, it, it's one thing to find somebody have somebody else uh, but it's another thing are they faithful um, and and, and uh, for as much as you've tried to be faithful um, that that that's that that's one thing. But you've got friends who are faithful to you. Other than him, you've got other people as well. You've got more people faithful to you than uh, the, 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 than uh, than than he has at the moment by the by by, by, by the by the looks of it. I want to pull out this third card. This is the immediate future influence. This will give us some idea about what uh, potentially. Uh, will uh, be, be taking place between now and this time next month. This is the immediate future. A uh, bit of a, a bit of a, um, a bit of a bugger. This one. You've got the gate, and the gate just provides some sort of barrier that's going to keep you from your goal. Whatever it is you want from this, uh, usually there's something that you want, isn't there? Usually, um, whatever it is you want to to get out of this. Maybe him, him coming back, or a divorce, or a, or a, everything back together. Whatever it is, I would assume it's him. What you want him coming back again? Uh, that's your goal. Well, and, and and given the fact that your goal is for him to come back, then of course there's something in the way. There's going to be a barrier stopping you, stopping you getting that. And the barrier, I think, really is there's someone else, isn't it? Uh, although the someone else isn't. Uh, sort of there in, in, in the cards, as you could say. We know that they are there in some way. There is something uh, stopping you from achieving your goal, which which clearly is an external force, isn't it? Um, I want to at this stage, and I, I, I normally we just normally do three, but I'm just, what are we going to do? Just pop, there's one there, one there. And I'm going to pull out another card for you there, just to see uh, here, Ashley, just to see um, where we go, sort of, uh, sort of like uh, between now and, and, and sort of May, uh, sort of April, May, June, or up to about June, you, you could say, couldn't you? About Beltane time here, uh, you know, the beginning of summer, May Day and, and, and what have you. We're just going to reveal this. Energy. I suppose we shouldn't. We should quit while we're ahead, but we're not ahead, are we? Really, in some regards, uh, just indicating really between now and June, or at least um, uh, between uh, April, May, and June. Anyway, um, your secrets will be safe. Whatever, whatever he says that you've been up to, if you've been socialising and maybe confiding in in a male friend or, or whatever not so much that it's led to anything serious of course 
um, uh, because married people don't do that normally, do they? Uh, but nevertheless, um, he, nevertheless, um, you, your secrets, whatever whatever they are, the skeletons in your own cupboard will be safe uh, between, uh, I suppose, between now and, and May at least. So whatever you've got to hide. If the barrier is something that's that, that, that it's something that you've got to hide that's keeping you from your goal and getting him back, um, then if you have been seen, you have been seeing somebody and he's walked out on you. I don't know. I am. Um, as as this, I still got a funny feeling as though that he's the one with somebody else. Though I still get feeling it's the other way around. I don't know why. I just do. Um, but whatever this is, I, I've got a funny feeling as though you might be led astray, and 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 if so, and if you do end up confiding in a male friend, having a shoulder to cry on, tra la 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 la, whatever. Nevertheless, uh, that secret uh, between you and you and him will be safe from the one who's walked out on you, but which will be natural because he isn't there to find out because you won't have to tell him. Because this would be, uh, of, uh, of course, uh, confiding in somebody, and that, that's what confidence is all about. So I just got a funny feeling as though if you do want to tell uh, a male friend, and it isn't just about telling your girlfriends, you, 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 you like, you know, the, your female friends, uh, feel free to confide in male friends as well. I am, um, because um, and anything that, that happens. I suppose, yes, anything secret that happens will be safe, but nevertheless, it doesn't make it right, does it? And this is the, the, the fine line that you have a responsibility uh, to, 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 to draw until you know what the, the score is. Um, will he come home? The question is, will he come home? He, he's got to he's got to have some form of communication with you will he come home between now and may day as you would say or between now and the 10th of may it's unlikely there's something stopping it uh, there's a barrier keeping you from your goal which is to get him back so no the answer's no uh, will he communicate with you in some way? Then, of course, that's always open anyway, isn't it? But for now, Jessica, we've said enough. These cards have now spoken.